If your diabetic cat patient's glucose is high and your instinct is to just keep increasing the insulin dose, pause. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Rablin bringing you lessons from the floor, quick tips for vet students and early career vets. One of the most common traps that I see early career veterinarians falling into is this. You check a spot glucose in the clinic or the client checks it at home and it's high, so you increase the insulin. Then the next check is still high, so you increase it again. Here's the problem. Rising glucose numbers don't always mean the dose is too low. Cats are incredibly prone to stress hyperglycemia, and when insulin doses keep creeping up, you have to zoom out and ask why. Is there infection, inflammation, dental disease? Is there inconsistent dosing, maybe a syringe mismatch or insulin resistance? Most cats don't need massive doses of glargine. That's one that I use commonly. Once you're getting past about two units twice daily, that is your cue to really stop chasing numbers and start asking more questions. Good diabetes management isn't about reacting to every high number. It's about trends, context, clinical signs, and the patient right in front of you. So higher numbers do not always mean more insulin. Sometimes they mean more curiosity. So make sure to save this tip, share it with your friends, and follow us for more lessons from the floor.